What's up everybody, I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision. As we finish up the Year of the Rabbit and we head into the Year of the Dragon, we thought it was a good time to talk about this thing right here, the Jerry J31. <laughs> This is just about the most affordable binocular night vision device that you can buy right now. And we're gonna tell you all about it. So this thing comes with a whole host of features. Really everything I can think of is included in this thing. Um, it has IPD stops, it has manual gain, it's got an onboard IR illuminator. It has individual pod cutoffs. It takes a onboard AA battery, which is really cool because you can find those anywhere and it has a provision for a optional remote battery pack. It is proprietary, so you can't use like a Argus battery pack or an AB um, battery pack that you might already have because it's uh, sort of like a Limo connector or a Fisher connector, but it's seven pin. It's kind of weird, but it's a, it's a battery pack provision. So you got that. Um, yeah, we get these things complete from infrared. We don't, you know, really do anything to them, but they're priced extremely competitively. Uh, one other cool feature on these, I don't know if you can see that from here, but it's got these little thread bosses on the bottom and it comes with two brackets that mount directly to the bottom of this housing that allow you to clip a Jerry C directly onto the device without any of those adapters. Um, those little rings that uh, cinch down around your infinity focus ring on like a 31 or or the bigger one for a 31 alpha It's it's all included right here in this case. Let's let's actually go over what comes in the case when you get it It comes in a big fancy box with pictures and stuff on it But uh, essentially this is what you're gonna get uh, Inside of it you have the two Jerry C brackets that I just mentioned with uh, the hardware in there you get two um, eye cups that interface with the back of the eyepiece and you get some literature a user's manual this is probably want to hold on to this because it's got a lot of programmable features in it an authenticity card and then um where's the data sheets oh right here uh no this isn't it i'm sorry this isn't the data sheet it looks like that but that's actually not it. Um, oh, data sheets. They were in my hand. Sorry. Um, here they are. So it comes with a data sheet for each tube. Pretty cool. Like I said, it is a manual gain device. So if I didn't state this at the beginning of the video, this product is manufactured by Infrared. Um, that is, I don't want to say the parent company, but that is the company that manufactures all of the thermal devices for IRA USA. Um, they're very popular. They have a very good reputation. These infrared is their OEM. So this isn't some new company that just showed up out of nowhere. They've been around for a long time. We've been selling some of their products here and there. Um, we've got a pretty good relationship with them. To speak more about the tubes that come included in this device, if you're familiar with the imported night vision uh, devices, you're probably frequently going to hear about Photonis and NNVT. So this device, or the J31, comes with NNVT-4 tubes. They are the non-auto-gated version of the NNVT-4 tubes. And personally, I see this as an advantage because the auto-gated NNVT tubes auto-gate at such a low frequency, it can be very distracting. I mentioned the battery pack earlier. I just found one. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty neat because it uses two 18650s rather than four AA's or uh, CR123's. I have no idea how long uh, two 18650's will last running a night vision device. I would imagine it's like infinity <laughs> because four AA's in a standard night vision device is like a hundred hours of runtime. And this is much more power in a similar sized battery pack. So um, take that for what it's worth. Uh, it's a very cool solution my opinions on the device. I think for the price, it is very hard to beat. 
Um, my big reservation on any of these imported finished goods has always been the optical performance. Um, this is really my first uh, in-depth experience with uh, the Chinese NNVT tubes in general. They are different. Um, it is a Gen 2 tube. So if you think you're going to buy this and it's going to be just as good as like even a 1431 with Elbit tubes or like any domestically made tubes, it's not. But it's significantly less expensive. Um, at like a little bit more than $4,000, you're getting into a white phosphor bino and that's what everybody wants so you know it's a very broad term that's not considering a lot of things but it is that and it comes with a lot of features at that price um the optics are still they're sufficient they're still a little weird compared to what we're used to as far as like uh, domestically manufactured or marketed you know pvs 14 style optics or uh, optics in a PVS 31. There is some chromatic aberration. Um, the tubes have a very different looking phosphor screen, which threw me off at the beginning. But once you get behind these and use them, you will get used to them. I don't know if I mentioned it, but instead of having, uh, in lieu of the auto gating, these use uh, a process called bright source protection. And I don't have a lot of information on it, but instead of pulsing the power to auto gate the tubes and protect them, it does something inside of the tube where it cuts resolution near the bright light, light sources that you're looking at, the bright areas in your night vision tube. It's kind of hard to explain it. It may look a little fuzzy, grainy around these bright areas, but the tube is not going to be flickering, you know, on and off hundreds of times a second it's just going to be a little bit less crisp in those bright areas. I'm not really sure how this accomplishes um, the same safety feature inside the tube, but apparently it does. So not really a big deal, but um, just be advised. The most frequently asked question we have received about the J31, more specifically about the tubes, is how do they perform? And I can't really explain that without doing a comparison. So the other Gen 2 Plus type tube that we have the most experience with is the Photonis Echo. So I'm just gonna kind of go down the data sheet. I've, I've compared them side by side and they're, they're pretty similar. I would say there's pros and cons to each. Um, but for example, I've got, I think five or six data sheets I just grabbed off the top of the stack here. Um, start with Luminous Gain. I've got anywhere from 9,500 down to 80, 8350. Um, and the luminance gain on these two specific tubes are listed as measured values of 12,000 even, completely round number, and 13,000 even, a completely round number. It's kind of odd that they're exactly round numbers. You don't typically see that. Um, but the center resolution and they list peripheral ref resolution on these tubes at uh, 64 line pair per millimeter. If you're familiar with all, at all with Photonis tubes, their center resolutions are all over the place from, I think like 64 all the way up to like 82. And usually it's like 64, 68, 70, 71. Like it's, they're all over the place. Signal to noise ratio on the NNVT tubes is a little bit lower at uh, 23.46 and 22.86 versus, you know, again, this is just a sample size of Photonis tubes I pulled off the top of a stack. We've got um, uh, 32, 30.63, uh, 29.40 and 30.31. So quite a bit lower on the SNR. So they've got some different uh, terminology they use on this. They do have a spot spec chart here at the bottom that will show, indicate any um, blims that show up in the tubes. Um, I don't know how good they are about calling it out. We've addressed this in other videos that some manufacturers have that spot spec chart on there and sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. But Suffice to say, the tubes look pretty good at night. Um, if you're going to go into a really uh, poorly lit area with not a lot of ambient light, 
I would go ahead and plan on having some sort of additional illumination like a, an IR laser device or you know some kind of weapon mounted light in the IR spectrum but for the majority of night vision users in and around urban environments look the performance is uh, sufficient it's not it's not bad so um, take that for what it's worth uh, we plan on doing some videos in the future uh, doing side-by-side -side comparisons with the NNVT tubes, Photonis Echoes, Elbits, and L3s. That's probably the next video we're going to put together. So these devices, when you purchase them from us, will come with a one-year warranty on the tubes and a two-year warranty on the housing. We do stand behind these, even though we're not manufacturing them here in-house. We brought these on board to address a, I don't want to say tube shortage. Everybody gets bent out of shape when you say that, but there are conflicts around the globe right now that are consuming a lot of night vision tubes, uh, primarily uh, photonis tubes. So where that photonis tube market is, is starting to struggle because the supply is not there, uh, infrared and NNVT have really stepped into the void and they're filling that um, demand and price sector of a market. I think if you know you have to have binos and you've only got about $4,500 to spend, this is a good option. Um, again, I'm not going to say it's the best thing on the market, but it is really good for the price. So, um, you know, take everything I've said into consideration. There's a lot of positive reviews. A lot of people are doing, um, putting out a lot of content about these. So yeah, go check that out too. If you have any questions, you can always call us, email us. DM us on any of our social medias. Um, I can walk you through, um, you know, any other questions you may have about this J31. Final point, uh, every one of these that I've looked through has been surprisingly clean. They don't have a lot of um, blims in any of the tubes that I've seen. They look really good. So if you're looking for just a clean set of white phosphor binos, this might be the right product for you. As always, thank you for watching our video. If you made it this far, we really appreciate it. Please like this video, share it, go subscribe to our channel, subscribe to any of our social medias. We really appreciate it. It helps increase our reach and get this information out to more people. Have a great day. Roll that beautiful bean flicking footage. Wait, this is the wrong platform. Um, uh, just cut to the B-roll, cut to the B-roll.